كريمة بنت أحمد المروزية كريمة بنت أحمد بن محمد بن هاتم المروزية was a 5th century scholar also known as أم الكرام كريمة بنت أحمد المروزية was raised in مكة and lived near the holy sanctuary there until her death at the age of 100 she was ethnically and originally from Turkmenistan. Her name also indicates that she is from Marv, which is in Central Asia, one of the great cities of Khorasan. She was one of Islam's leading women scholar and a famous narrator of Sahih al-Bukhari and hence a great muhaddith. She has been able to combine within her personalities both knowledge and piety. Within the city of Mecca, Karima Rahimahullah bought with her legacy unmatched before her and an example for those to come after her, in short, for Muslim women of all times. Settling in Mecca, she also came to be known as the Sheikha of Mecca. Until Karima bint Ahmad became distinguished in the 5th century, Mecca was not known to have Muhaddithat who held such a high and famous status. Karima bint Ahmad Rahimahullah gained a high status within the realm of Islamic knowledge in Mecca and more specifically in the science of Hadith due to her being a specialized narrator of Sahih al-Bukhari. In fact, she would narrate Sahih al-Bukhari with such precision and authenticity that when it came to her male contemporaries who were also famous for narrating Sahih al-Bukhari, her name was at the forefront with theirs. She is one of the teachers of Al-Khatib al-Baghdadi, a universally revered and respected scholar. People traveled from all corners of the Islamic world to sit in her mosque and hear and learn hadith from her. In Central Asia, near to contemporary of Imam Ghazali, the best known transmitter of Sahih al-Bukhari in the entire Islamic world was Karima bint Ahmad al marwaziya Her search for knowledge was done in a manner which is in accordance with Islamic injunctions and therefore she did travel far distances with only a mahram. That is why Karima Rahimahullah traveled with her father in order to study the words of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She and her father traveled widely from place to place as far as Iran to Jerusalem, eventually settling in Mecca, seeking teachers and knowledge. She fought the weaknesses that a woman encounters during the course of Ardua's journey and implemented a common saying in Arabic, the translation of which is, give knowledge everything you'll get a little back. And that is exactly what Karima Rahimahullah did. Regardless of the fact that the path of knowledge stretched far and wide, she traveled over many a sea and land. The teachers from whom she studied Sahih al-Bukhari are Abu al-Haytham al-Kushmihani, Zahir bin Ahmad al-Sarkhasi, Abdullah bin Yusuf bin Bamuwiya al-Asbahani. Karima rahimahullah taught and narrated the Sahih many times over and over exactly as she had learned the text from her teachers. She was and is indisputably regarded as one of the leading authorities in Mecca for having transmitted the Sahih al-Bukhari. That is why Muhammad Zubair Siddiqui mentions in his book Hadith Literature its origin, development and special features by saying even more distinguished was Karima al marwaziya who was considered the best authority the Sahih al-Bukhari in her time. Imam al-Rahbi says of Umm al-Karam, she had knowledge and good understanding combined with goodness and worship. As per the words of Ignat Golziha, the Jewish Hungarian Orientalist, who is considered one of the founders of Islamic studies in Europe, he says, as a matter of fact, her name occurs with extraordinary frequency in the ijazas for narrating the text of this book.
She never got married and her days were spent teaching the words of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the presence of Kaaba worshiping Allah azza wa jal and being amongst the believers. She resided in Mecca for a great portion of her life and spent her blessed scholarly days as a neighbor of the Haram until her death in Hijra year 463.